Pre-order my new book, The Body and the Cosmos at NadiaShaw.com and get free gifts. Hello, Fabulous Cancer. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of November 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And it is a month like this that promises you some really nice social times, especially right around the middle of the month. So let's start there because we are going to have right around the 12th, to give or take a day on either side, depending on where you are on the planet, this month's full moon. Now this full moon is happening in a very social part of the sky for you and it is speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and with Saturn. So there's a sense at this time of the connections that you are making or the reconnections that you're making because we are going to be under a Mercury retrograde at this time. Well, they seem to be very fortunate for you. They are bringing about a feeling of stability and a feeling of other people being there for you in important ways, personally and professionally as well. If it is that you are invited to just about anything, social invitations, professional invitations as well, I would definitely encourage you to go, especially around the middle of the month where you're able to tap into some of the best that this energy has to offer. Neptune will be speaking in harmony with this full moon as well, which means that there's a sense of being touched by magic happening at this time. Now, I mentioned that Mercury retrograde, um, and I'll talk about Mercury retrograde a lot more once we get into the love portion of this video, but suffice it to say, with Mercury retrograde, there tends to be this sense of going over old ground, a feeling as if reconnections are taking place. And so it becomes very possible now that when you least expect it, you may very well find yourself connecting with someone that you might have known before, maybe before it was a little bit uh, not as professional or not as formal, and now you have this chance in the reconnections to feel as if in meeting them again, you're meeting them anew. Keep in mind this part of the sky is also connected to a more visionary sense, a, a sense of feeling as if really big opportunities are available to you, the kind that feel like they are touching on a dream come true. And it is other people that are a key part of you perhaps realizing a truly big ambition in your life. Now, as we navigate later into the month, right around the 26th is when we are going to have this month's new moon. This new moon is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with your daily life, your workplace, the people who surround you there, and the type of work that you are doing. It also speaks to matters of health and health-related habits. A supremely harmonious alignment between this new moon and Chiron does suggest that if it is that you are using this energy where it comes to matters of health and how well you take care of you, this can be wonderful developments along those lines. At the same time, just two days before this new moon, we have a beautiful alignment happening, a connection really between Venus and Jupiter. Now on the one hand, astrologers like to call this the most romantic day of the year, but this is blessings overall. And so this can be a sense of blessings finding you, health related blessings, workplace related blessings as well. In fact, I think with this guy, new opportunities, whether it's new customers, new clients, or even new coworkers as well, can bring not only positive developments and more opportunity into your life, but a real sense that as a result of knowing these people, you are made better in some key way. At the very least, this will be a busy time and a fortunate time for you where it comes to your daily life, whether it is by happenstance and the people you interact with, or more formally, in terms of more rewarding opportunities and tasks finding you at this time. Now, where it comes to matters of love, a few things stand out to me here. So as I said, with the new moon early in the month, speaking with Mercury retrograde, that Mercury retrograde is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with flirtation and romance. And so I uh, think I said this to you last month, but you are one of the signs out there that is most prone to misunderstandings, especially where it comes to dating. And what happens is sometimes breakups can happen, but they tend to not stay broken up 
when Mercury is uh, retrograde in this part of the sky. So just be on the lookout for that. Yeah, misunderstandings, miscommunications, but reconciliations can happen at this time as well. Now you add to this the most romantic day of the year taking place for you and it looks like in your daily life there's a lot of love available to you. So if you're open to meeting someone new, well connecting with someone whether it's through the workplace or places that you frequent every day becomes that much more possible under this energy. We also have with this Mercury retrograde you are one of the signs most likely to reconnect with someone that you may have dated before, however casually, however minimally, uh, even if it was just a flirtation that took place, that very person could find their way back into your life at this time. But also possible someone that you met very informally last month in the month of October comes back around at this time for another look and another consideration. For those of you who are just getting to know someone, so if you're just dating somebody, it is this Mercury retrograde that is gonna be that much more a dominant energy in your life. The possibility for mix-ups and breakups become that much more possible. However, so is the possibility for a genuine sense of getting to know this person more deeply. And the reconciliation factor becomes that much more likely over the course of this month. And for those of you in an established bond, I do feel like there's a sense of wanting to experience more love in your daily life and wanting your partner to be more a part of your daily life. That really is thanks to that beautiful connection of Venus and Jupiter. At the same time though, remember, if it is that you've got a lot set on some big romantic gesture, that's when you start tapping into the Mercury retrograde in ways that may not necessarily be as empowering. Love is what we express in our smallest moments, in the day-to-day, -day. and where it is that you're able to see love in the details and in those small moments you share, well, that is where the love can grow that much more. What I love about this month for you, well, there is a lot here, but I'm gonna say I love how friends and people are on your side. I love how social the energy is for you, thanks to the full moon in the middle of the month. Chances are you are going to be feeling a sense of joy in the company of others and a sense of genuine support, encouragement that has a practical application as well in terms of the opportunities and in some cases truly big opportunities that find you now. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.